Good morning. Beautiful morning out there. Maybe it'll kind of dry out a little bit before the weekend. Anyway, it's not going to stop me. I'm going to go golfing this afternoon anyway. In the mud. <laughs> you ever think about the remnant? You know, the Bible talks about the remnant. Uh, in Ezra 9, 8, it says, And now for a little while grace has been shown from the Lord our God to leave us a remnant to escape and to give us a peg in his holy place that our God may enlighten our eyes and give us a measure of revival in our bondage. The Bible tells us that a remnant will be what basically is left when, he, when Jesus returns from the earth. And I just believe that that's possibly going to be the case. It says cloth and carpet are just scattered as red remnants. Yet the Bible speaks with value about the redmen. From Joseph's ordeal in Egypt to Paul's passion for his brethren, who would, who would believe, <clears throat> we see this doctrine of the remnant. God always holds safely a remnant to continue his purpose. When the children of Israel had returned from captivity, they found a speck of their own former glory as a nation. Even the temple had been destroyed. Much of what they knew about worshiping the one true God was linked to the function of the temple. In the midst of this restoration, Ezra proclaimed the verse that we spoke about. Remnants are often marked down from their original value and even discarded, but not so much with God. God's remnants are of value, but not because of the intrinsic worth. The remnant gains value because of God's grace at work. Note that Ezra said God had given them a peck in his holy plates, the idea here is of a nail driven in the wall of the temple. Hence, we are saying, or having a place on which to hang our, your hats. In this case, the remnant was not that hat, but only the nail in which the hat was hung. Finally, the remnant's sight is restored and a measure of revival given to renew. If you're feeling left out today and a bit like a discarded remnant, it's going to be okay. God is in the remnant business. Let him place you in his holy place. Though it, is, it be only as a nail in the wall, welcome home. And truly he has given us a nail in the wall. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has given us that place, that peg. And one day we will return with him to our heavenly home. Just keep remembering, folks, this is not our home as Christians. We've got another place. So serve the Lord with gladness. Lift up his name among those who don't know him. Fellowship with one another to gain strength and courage. And we want to see you Sunday morning for services. God bless you. Have a great Friday.